Hello everyone, here is a video about Bito configuration with Arduino IDE. First, let's go to the website and open the manual. For preparation, the first step you need to do is to go to the Arduino website download and install the Arduino IDE. For here, you can choose the version for a system. The next step, you need to go to the GitHub and download the OpenCAT. Here, click the code, download zip, download it, and then unzip it. And Rename the folder's name as OpenCAT. You need to delete the main here. Now I'll show you what you need for this step. You just need the data cable, the uploader, and the board. Now you need to connect the uploader to your board and connect the data cable to your PC. Then you need to go to your PC, click the manage, click the device manager and then find ports here here is it then click the opencat.ino and open it with Arduino IDE and then you need to comment the line 40 define main sketch you need to comment it then choose the correct serial port and check the board and upload this to your board. After it finished, you just click the serial monitor. Here, pay attention to the bot rate and no line ending or new line. It is fine for both no line ending or new line, but we recommend no line ending. Type Y here. And now, before it calibrate the IMU, you need to put the board on a flat surface and do not move it during the calibration. Type Y here. Now it's calibrating. And it's done. Then you can upload the main sketch to the board. Just uncomment line 40 and then upload. Then open the serial monitor again. If you see this, it means the main sketch is uploaded successfully. The following step is to assemble the frame. Now I've already have an assemble. I'm going to tell you how to connect the wires. 
you should connect the wires as shown in this figure. Put your board in the correct direction and find the pin for each servo. You should pay attention that these numbers are the joint indexes depending on the position of the actual joints, not the printed PWM pin numbers on the circuit board. After you connect all the wires, you can fix the board on the body with screws. Then you should connect the battery to the board. There are three ways to calibrate the servos. The first way is to use the Paytoy mobile app. The second way is to use the Paytoy desktop app. The third way is to use the Arduino IDE. Now we're going to calibrate the servos with Arduino IDE. First you should connect the uploader, the board, and the data cable to your computer and Open the Sierra monitor. Now we can start. Input C as calibration. Make sure you turn on the battery by long pressing the button. And the joint should rotate with command C. You should connect all the servos in such degree. Then you need to use the code to adjust the details for each servo. See, 11 minus 5 means you set an offset of minus 5 degrees for the 11th servo. See, 11, 5 means you set an offset of 5, positive 5, to the 11th servo. The first line of this matrix printed by C command are the index of each joint servo, while the second line of these matrix are the offset joint angles. You may also need the L shape calibrator to help you calibrate each joint. After the calibration is finished, input an S to save all your offset settings. Now you can fasten the screws for the servo shaft. You can see here is the function of the IMU. The IMU is used to keep the robot body in balance. Do not forget the screw for the head. Now we're able to play. You can use the IR remote controller.
You can also use the mobile app to control the robot. But first, you need to connect the Bluetooth module. Turn on your Pitoy app, scan devices, and then connect your Pitoy robot. Now you can play with it. More detailed tutorial will be covered in a separate video.